This is my 1968 International Fleet Star 2000 dump truck. This truck's been sitting here for, near as I can remember, about 15 years. Well, I'm gonna see if I can get it going today and drive it out of here. So let's do this. The last time I had this truck going, I used it to pull my raggedy old trailer and move my dozer. I had to take it somewhere to do some work with it. And um, I remember the air brakes didn't want to release and uh, they were dragging and smoking and I had a heck of a time getting it back here. So when I got it back, I just parked it and left it here and it's been resting ever since. This little spruce tree wasn't here when I parked the rig. This outside left rear tire is flat also. I'm gonna have to try to get some air in there before I try to move this truck. Wow, look at that interior. Looks almost the same as when it came off the showroom floor. So that's where that air hose went. Man, I've been looking for that for 15 years. It's a pretty old truck. Throw a coat of wax on this baby and it'll look like brand new. Well, I need to clean off some of these sticks and branches and whatnot. They kind of got left laying around when I was uh, making wood the last couple of winters. I dragged some treetops up here and cut them up. Time to have a look at this 671 Detroit diesel. See what she looks like with the hood. The hood's binding a little bit. And one of the mounts is cracked a little bit, binding a little bit, but no big deal, I got her open. I guess it's no surprise that the fiberglass cracked. This thing's had a lot of, lot of snow on it from time to time. I don't see no coolant in the radiator. That's not good. Looking for the dipstick, looking for the dipstick. I can't remember where the dipstick is. Don't see a dipstick. You know what, I remember where it is. It's inside the cab. There it is, right by the brake pedal. Yeah, well, it looks good. air box and have a look make sure there's no birds nests or rats nests or hornets nests inside of there and it looks all right no critters built a happy home inside of there stick a battery in battery out of my big loader should turn this thing over this thing has been pretty good for starting Usually one battery, a shot of ether, and it fires right up. Oh, 
Click, clickety click, clickety click. She's not turning. Probably got some dirty connections. Nope, no dice. I'm gonna have to go have a look. Let me go ahead and stick my skitter battery in here. Give it a little helping hand with a supplemental battery. Come on now, you can do better than that. Clickety click, clickety click, still not turning over. Let me give those battery cables another little jiggle. Move them around a little bit. It's gonna do it this time. I can feel it. Well, the old buzzer is sounding a little more lively. That's a good sign. Well, that sounds much better. The starter motor is actually cranking. Let me go give it a shot of that sweet, sweet nectar. Detroit Diesel loves so much. Starting fluid and see what happens. Well, she fired on ether, that's a good sign. Let me come give it another little shot. It's promising. Another little shot. There we go. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There she goes. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up, baby. Man, this thing sounds really good. For sitting all these years, I can't believe how good this thing is running. Gotta love those old Detroit diesels. Man, this thing is amazing. Listen to that baby purring away there. That sounds incredible. Well, I can't see any antifreeze at all in the radiator. All I see is the top plates in there. So I better put some in there. Found a couple gallons in the garage. Just gonna dump it in there and hopefully it'll be enough. Oh yeah, yeah, that's much better. That filled it up. Let me put this air filter back in. Keep the critters out. Better unhook this trailer.
Might as well fix this headlight while I'm at it. There we go, good as new. Alrighty then. Uh-oh, we got a problem. No air pressure. These brakes will never release with no air pressure. I think we're dead in the water at the moment. So when I sat down on this seat, the left side dropped about two inches. And as you can see, it sunk right into the floorboards. Uh, they're totally rusted out. You can see the forward part of the floorboards where one's feet rest rotted out years ago and so when you're driving this truck you could see the highway uh, moving underneath your feet I guess it's just about time to put a new floor in this truck well I happen to find some caging bolts to release these brakes I put a little bit of anti-seize on there let me pop out these caps I can stick the caging bolts in And of course the plugs have to fight me just like everything else. Totally rotted away. And there we go. Need some brandy new caging bolts. Not sure how tight these are gonna be so I wanted to put some anti-seize on there. In case they're really stuck big time. Well, like I said, deep old socket's not going to do me any good. resort to Manuel. There we go. Got that one. Now the right side. That ought to do it, I guess. Can't really reach it from the right side got this big hydraulic tank in the way gonna go all the way around from the left side of the truck no big deal plenty of room to work down there well now that the brakes are caged let me crank this baby up and see if it'll drive out of here and she fired right up for me Well, got my air compressor going. Time to air up this left hand outside tire. See if I can get some air in there. Fortunately, it's still on the bead, so it seems to be taking some air. If I can get it in gear, maybe I can drive this thing out of here. I'm gonna try to pump this clutch up. There we go. The old Road Ranger finally went into gear for me. Well, we don't seem to be going anywhere, just sitting here spinning.
no dice. Both rear wheels are in a little bit of a depression, but I would think it would move. Well, time to resort to plan B. The old International S7B ought to pull that baby out of there. Time for a shot of that sweet, sweet nectar that the Detroit Diesel loves so much. A little shot of ether. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, it's go time. We're gonna get that truck to move. I gotta move this hard maple log out of the way first. It's kinda acting as a roadblock. There we go, that oughta do it. Know how to get this thing hooked up. So I can yank it out of there. Looks like a good place to hook up.
Come on, baby. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Come on out of there. side break was locked up tight. That right wheel just skidded all the way out. Didn't turn at all. sticks and junk in front of it. I think I'm just gonna leave this truck right here. It's close enough to the garage so my air hose will reach so I can use my impact gun over here. That's good enough. Well, gotta put the skitter away. done her job well again. Next day, a little bit of a change in weather. 26 degrees Fahrenheit and several inches of snow. Lovely. This ought to make it that much more enjoyable to be working on this thing. Hardly any snow all winter long and then when I'm out here trying to work on something, this is what we get. Oh well, I guess that's the way it goes. kind of pretty out here with the nice white blanket covering everything. Gotta look at the brighter side, I guess. Oh well, back to the task at hand. The old 1968 International Fleet Star 2000 dump truck. Let me see if I can get this tailgate out of the way. Kind of chain it in the up position. There we go. That ought to do it. Time to try out my new Harbor Freight 12 ton jack. See if it'll pick this thing up. And it seems to be working as advertised. A 
that how to do it. Let me see if I can get this thing blocked up. This stubby hard maple block ought to do it. If I can get it under there. Might have to shim it a little bit. on these lug nuts. See if I can get them cracked loose. See if the old Harbor Freight three-quarter ton impact gun will bust them loose. And it seems to be doing the job. A little blaster on these other ones. See if I can get them cracked loose. Time to persuade these keepers to come out of here. Mighty fine. Oh yeah, there we go. There's a flat one. Let's see if I can drag it aside. Get this uh, center ring out. Finally, don't you love working in the snowbank? Now to find my lug nuts and wedges. Should be in here somewhere. Ah, fresh snow. It's great. Now to get the wedges out from this other side. Well, this is a bit of a concern right here. Very deep cuts in the sidewalls. Both tires on this right-hand side, very deep dry rot cracks. Uh, it's too bad the tread's pretty good on these tires, but the sidewalls, that is concerning to me. I'm afraid if I put a load on this truck, these sidewalls are gonna blow out. Maybe even if I don't put a load on it. If I air them up to full pressure, that's a little scary. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be make things a little challenging. Well, I'm kind of running out of time for today. That frozen clump of dirt that wedged in between the dooleys when I was dragging the thing out the other day with my skitter is gonna have to be chopped out of there before I can pull the inner tire off of that right-hand side. So I think I'm gonna leave it right here for today. Come back another day. This baby's been waiting here for 15 years. I don't think she's gonna mind waiting just a little bit longer. I'll come back and finish it up another day. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up, baby.